Hello, friends. Do you love to travel and learn about new places and things? Great, then you are in the right place. Join Jasmine the cat and Gracie the tortoise as they have fun exploring the USA, the world, and beyond. Hello, friends. It's Jasmine, the jazzy gray cat, here with my bestie Gracie, the super smart tortoise. Say hi, Gracie. Greetings, my good friends. Gracie here. I'm so glad you joined us today as we explore Mars, the fourth planet from the sun, located right between Earth and Jupiter. Mars! Do you think we'll see Martians? You know those little green guys. No, Jasmine, I don't. Martians are science fiction characters. They were created by authors in the early 1900s to tell a good story and excite your imagination of what could be out there in the universe. One example is from the writer H.G. Wells, who wrote a story called The War of the Worlds. It's a story of the invasion of Earth by Martians. It was read on the radio in 1938, and some people panicked and thought it was a real invasion. Oh, my, the chaos that ensued. Oh, no! It would be scary to think we were being invaded by Martians. I'm glad to know it was just a story, but I am a little disappointed to find out there are no Martians. We could be friends. Since Mars is right next to Earth, it would be nice to have neighbors. Yes, it would be nice to know we're not alone. And perhaps someday we'll find friends somewhere in the universe. Now, back to Mars. Gotcha, Gracie. We can see Mars without a telescope, which means people have been watching Mars forever. Mars is not very big, only about half the size of Earth. It's called the Red Planet because it's red. The soil and the rocks are red because they have a chemical in them called iron oxide, which we also call rust. Because Mars is red, it was named Mars after the Roman god of war. The red color reminded the Romans of blood. Yuck. Mars also has some of the same features as Earth. There is an atmosphere with clouds and wind. These winds can whip up the red dust into dust storms called dust devils. Think of it, Jasmine, red tornadoes. Sometimes these tornadoes cover the entire planet. Water has also been found in frozen dirt and in thin clouds. Melted salty water has been found in the hills signs of floods that happened long ago. I would like to see a red tornado from very far away. Mars also has four seasons, just like us. It also has weather, polar ice caps, volcanoes, and canyons. Get this. The highest mountain in our solar system is right here, a volcano called Olympus Mons. It is 15 miles high. That's about three times the height of Mount Everest. But we won't see Mons or any of the other volcanoes erupt. They're dormant or dead. Mars is a very cold desert world, with temperatures being way below freezing at minus 85 degrees Fahrenheit. Scientists study Mars to see if anything has ever lived here, or if anything ever could live here. Well, the air is not good for people, cats, or tortoises. We would need to wear spacesuits all the time. Mine would be pink, of course. The atmosphere is very thin and is made up mostly of carbon dioxide, nitrogen, and argon. Earth's atmosphere is mostly nitrogen and oxygen. So it's no surprise that people have never been to Mars, even if it only takes three years to get here. That's so much closer than any of the other planets so far. Of course, with our supersonic spaceship, we'll be there in no time. You're right about no humans ever landing on Mars, Jasmine. But unmanned spacecraft have landed here. The first spacecraft to land on Mars was the Viking landers, which touched down in 1976. Since then, robotic vehicles called rovers have explored the planet. The rovers drive all around and take pictures, search for water, and see if life ever existed here. The United States space program, called NASA, sent two in 2003, named Spirit and Opportunity. The rovers had six wheels, so they could move in lots of directions. There were cameras and instruments on them that looked at the rocks, soil, and dust. 
people at NASA were able to control the rovers from Earth. Astounding. That's cool, but how about a flying helicopter? In 2021, the Ingenuity, also called Ginny, was attached underneath the Perseverance rover. Ginny proved that aircraft can fly in a very thin atmosphere like on Mars. Ginny flew 72 missions and then retired in 2024. Great job, Ginny. We're almost there. If we did live on Mars, time would be a lot similar to what it is on Earth. A day is just a tiny bit longer at 24 hours and 37 minutes. But because the red planet is farther from the sun, a year is about twice as long at 687 days instead of our 365. You could always do half birthdays, Jasmine. Good to know. And we're in sight of Mars. Jinkies, it really does look red. I wish we could land because gravity is much weaker here. I could jump three times higher than on Earth. I could slam dunk the basketball every time. That would be fun. Do you see the two moons of Mars? They are called Phobos and Deimos. Phobos means fear or panic, and Deimos means terror or dread. The moons were discovered in 1877 and are among the smallest moons in the solar system. They are black in color and have lots of craters. They might be asteroids, which are small rocks that were captured by Mars. I see them. They look like potatoes. Very hard, black, burned potatoes. Phobos is the largest and flies around Mars three times in one day. Ooh, that would make me dizzy. Deimos is smaller and further from Mars. It takes more than a day for it to go around. Much more chill planet. You know what, Gracie? We don't have to land on Mars to see a piece of Mars. There are bits of Mars on Earth. When asteroids hit Mars, pieces of it fly into space, and some of them land on Earth. We call them meteorites. I'm going to look for some when I get home. Pretty cool. And you know what? I'm ready to head for home. I am too. Do you have some meteor jokes ready, Jasmine? I sure do. Where would an alien park his spaceship? I know this one. A parking meteor. Now, I'd tell you a joke about meteor showers, but it's too out of this world. Gracie, you are so silly. All of space is out of this world. My favorite part was learning that Mars is covered in rust. I love the red color. What's your favorite fact, Gracie? My favorite fact was that there is so much information about Mars from all the rover explorations. How about you, friends? What was your favorite fact? Don't forget to tell someone you love. That's right. And come back next time for Venus. Bye now. Say goodbye, Gracie. Goodbye, my dear friends. See you next week. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining Jasmine and Gracie on their adventure today. Come back next week for the next one. Hello, everybody. It's Gwen here. If you want to know more about the places we visited, just go to our website, jasmineandgracie.podbean.com, and go to the sources page, and you can find out all about the great places that we visited. See you next week. Bye-bye.